So hello and welcome dear students to this episode because this episode is dedicated to studio interviews. So how to ask off the wall questions, how to make an outstanding mind blowing interviews and turn your guests, uh, just the closed guests, closed people into very frank and candid people and making those interview being outstanding, I would say this way. Uh, regarding to your goal, according to that intention that you have, according to the speaker that you invited, you can set the approximate plan of questions, what to ask, uh, which way to use uh, your strategy, how to approach the person. So in this episode, we'll talk about uh, categories of our speakers who you can invite, what questions to ask, how to make how to make a research before you ask this person and before you even invite him or her to your studio. So let's say that you are here uh, like two days away from your interview. Uh, the first thing, you open up your checklist, you uh, prepare all the equipment, you do everything and then you start planning your questions. So according to the category of your speaker, you will be able to choose this type of questions and this type of topics and avoid some other. Uh, so uh, where to start and going straight to the point? I think you have already noticed that some speakers, they refuse uh, answering to the questions sometimes. And people always mm, like blame that people like, oh, he's not ready or like, oh, he's uh, hiding something. But usually the problem is not about that person, it's about the host. Because some categories of people, let's say politicians, celebrities or officials, uh, there are some questions that you can ask them. They are fully uh, knowledgeable in that. They are aware of everything that you're asking them about. And some other categories are not eligible to answer to that questions. That's why forget about different plans um, and your just creativity. Rely on the rules. Uh, in this episode, we'll talk about rules. Uh, the first category of our speaker I would mention is a politicians. We have politicians and we have officials. And this is a huge difference actually, because you should know what is the goal, the purpose of that position, what role plays that person. That's why if you mess up the questions, if you ask not appropriate question to your, uh, to your guest, of course he will refuse answering. That's why if you plan to make an interview with the politicians, um, be aware of who is a politician. Politician is the person who wants to uh, give, like, uh, who, who can propose, support, uh, reject some laws and maybe some um, uh, create governmental ideas or something like that. That's why if you ask that person about how to, what to propose, what he rejected, what he supported and why did he do that? That will be a good idea because if you ask how it will be invented, implemented in our life, uh, that m more likely comes with officials because officials is uh, the category of people elected to uh, serve, to appoint and administer a government. That's why if you want to discuss the law, uh, how this law will change people's life, why we should change the society or the law or some bills or something like that, you definitely should invite politicians. But if you want to uh, just to check, to find the way how it will be implemented in the real life, what steps to take, what strategy to use to make it happen, officials will be the great category for you. So let's say now for now you have two categories, two different categories means two different set of questions like a plan. Uh, on the one hand, politicians uh, support, propose, reject um, everything about the law. Um, this category of people and they can comment officials they can comment out uh, everything which is connected with the uh, administer uh, government or something like that so that's the huge difference that's why if you ask politician how it will be implemented in real life maybe he will tell you but in uh, you know like in all of that features maybe not specific steps just in few words they will definitely ask answer you but 
if you need dig deeper try to find officials for that purpose let's move forward now let's talk about the experts when you find and when you know that you want to uh, ask an expert about something and by the way remember I told you before that during the course I my intention my goal is to, to not only to make and to give you the main set of skills and rules for being a TV presenter also a TV media expert what does that mean uh, it means like you if you're a makeup artist if you are the person who wants to captivate audience by your expertise a doctor a fitness trainer or somebody else coach it means that you can use your expertise as a foundation why you will be in invited to the show why you will be the person who will uh, have this audience all eyes on you because of your expertise that means if you are a host who hosts uh, an expert it means that your main goal will be to find out the information so all that categories comes with the main goal to find out information politicians officials experts all of them they need to provide you with the information but different kinds of information of course but what's the difference between expert and politician and why expert uh, you can create the program where they will be politicians officials and experts expert is some somebody like you know independent expert so he doesn't take any side so if we talk about should we do this should we make this decision or not uh, should we divorce or not who is right here so if it will be like attorney or a lawyer for that couple if they are divorcing it will be not an expert expert is somebody like a third parties so it's independent side uh, the point of view from independent side so uh, this person shouldn't be inside of all that situation you are covering and you are talking about that's why if you talk with your audience if you speak with your guests and your uh, you know like um, your audience question be sure that you definitely will uh, be with your audience and with your um, ideas uh, on the one hand but on the other hand be sure that this expert is knowledgeable enough to provide this opinion to give the light to some ideas and topics that's how it's usually mm, managed uh, on TV and where you when you find an expert when you want to be an expert be sure that you are not even knowledgeable enough I, I know many experts they are super knowledgeable but they they are not good at speaking that's why speaking first of all and then comes your expertise because because of your words uh, because of your expressions your gestures and everything uh, it depends whether people get your message and when whether you will be able to convey it or not that's why politicians experts and officials are those three categories of people who are here who are invited for information purpose not for emotional purpose for emotional purpose I have uh, three more categories actually uh, we started talking about celebrities uh, more so I would even compare them with the next like fifth category will be artists and what's the difference between celebrities and artists do you know think about that what's the difference celebrities and artists the main difference is about the artists are more about art so if you find an artist like you know it's it can be even a singer um, somebody else who really director actor anybody even a, like a s athlete or football player who is famous or who isn't famous uh, they can be both famous or not well known by the audience by white audience but still they are artists because they are professional uh, professionals in their in their industry in their field they are passionate about their art and that's why the, you can bring their stories to the world uh, they are both expertise and stories uh, for example what's the difference you ask me what's the difference between artists and celebrities so I would say that celebrities we usually use the word outrageous so if there is something 
uh, you can mention. So sometimes people are popular. Those are popular people, celebrities. It's not the same of being an artist. It's not the same of... So we have actors who are celebrities and actors who are just artists. That's the difference. And why and how it affects your questions, you ask me. If we are speaking with artists, the main questions um, for you to be planned, for questions to be planned, will be about their life, about their childhood, about their art, about their plans for future. Something, you know, like from fine arts or uh, according to this, maybe some analogy uh, for their, their dreams and how did they realize that dreams. So that's the main difference. We can talk both about the expertise and about their life, childhood, everything actually, because here we are, um, here we are for emotions as well, not only for information, but still uh, we can treat those interviews as a very beneficial and uh, expert interviews as well. So if it's an actor and you, it, it can be, uh, he can be not a famous actor, but still your goal is to bring his expertise to the world. If you invite him as an expert, he will come to the different category as we discussed, just an expert. Those questions will be only dedicated to his expertise. If we're talking and inviting him as an artist, it means that your questions can be both mixed uh, from his expertise, about his childhood, about his lifetime being, everything actually, his relationship, everything, his story. When talking about celebrities, we talk about outrageous people. So uh, that means that sometimes they are fully, they are satisfied with their popularity, with their glory, with, with that feeling of being famous. And sometimes, you know, they expect us to look up at them. That's why don't do this mistake. Uh, the first mistake uh, to do will be to look up at this person and wow, I'm so happy to see you. That's why plan your questions, um, you know, like a provocative questions, but still a routine question, something from daily lifetime being, uh, let's say something from who, what do you eat for breakfast, who prepared that breakfast, so just for you to start, it's not a provocative question, but for those category of people, that will be definitely unexpected questions, so simple um, and not regarding themselves i mean to for you they will expect from you that you will be looking up at them and you will be just uh, you will adore them but you will not that's why it will be something different for them that's why the main goal of that types of interview with that category of speakers be, uh, to to you know like to um, decrease all of that um, impression and experience that is around them so to lower, uh, not to lower their self-esteem, of course not, but to lower their, that feeling, uh, their feeling of being super popular and famous and, and to compare them with real life, real people, maybe ask them about some problems in the world, how will they act and react on that. So that's the best option for them, the best idea not to look up at them and ask just regular questions about everyday lifetime being, uh, about the problems, word problems, um, something like that. That will bring them a little bit uh, lower to the earth. Um, that's why I think that questions will be beneficial for them and that interviews will be outstanding. Uh, sometimes even uh, mind-blowing, I think. That will be a great idea and purpose. So here, celebrities, uh, artists, they uh, are here, we are inviting, we invite them for the emotional level. So emotions will be the main goal here for us to unlock. Not the information, but mostly the emotion. Uh, what else can we talk about? Who else can we talk about? What type of questions? Uh, that will be uh, the heroes, heroes of our, like just guests to your interview. Why I use the word hero is just like, you know, like main characters, let's even tell this way. Main characters, sometimes they are heroes, sometimes they are not, but main character of your interview. What does that mean? What is the, uh, what is expected from you? and your questions. So when once you understand that this person, you want this person to be a main character, a hero of a, a story, of a program, 
the main set of questions will be uh, to ask about the story, about the story of the life, uh, his or her life. Uh, so for that person to be motivator for others, this kind of interviews should be very touching. So these types of interviews and speakers usually use uh, uses opera. So that's why opera uses the same techniques. Follow her interviews, look at her questions. She is not judging people because sometimes we have one more category uh, for interview I'll tell about that later but still uh, talking about the opera as interviews you definitely notice I hope that you that she uses actually simple questions just from lifetime being but still she is not uh, shy in that she is not uh, you know she's not closed and she's not sh uh, like limited to ask just straight just straight questions or just um, just common questions no her questions are very well um, planned they are unique they are good uh, and she is good in her being in her being in um, this archetype of a mother and being so supportive for people being so frank with them so that's why I think that she will be the best example here how to make the plan to this category of the heroes the main characters to your interview so the person who we want to look at his or her life uh, dig deeper find problems solve the problems that's why all other um, interviews they are uh, really hosted for some purpose either emotional or in just informational purpose so information or emotions but here we are mostly uh, mostly uh, specified on emotions of course uh, but if you miss to find new information about the people if you miss to bring that to your audience your audience will not highly estimate your efforts that's why while preparing interviews with all of that um, types of categories but still specifically with main characters with heroes be sure that you uh, you've chosen the right way the right way of researching about the person's life what I mean um, in previous episode I've mentioned about the different periods like black gray and white what does that mean white periods of lifetime like of a biography white periods is something which uh, your guest wants to talk about so it's something which is really uh, important for him but usually it's not important for us because we've heard about that for a thousand times it's something common but your guest is really satisfied with that so it's easy for them it's not it's a safe place it's a comfort zone for him to talk about white periods of his biography when it comes to the gray periods it means that that this is not the point and the subject to discuss it's something regular something obvious it's not a big deal so let's say the person um, experienced just the regular childhood nothing happened there no problems no um, outbreaks nothing there just the regular one so you can skip it don't be focused on that because that will be not interested both not for him not interesting for your audience so white periods are interesting for the guest but not interesting for the audience because we all know about that and here comes the black periods of his or her life your guest because that information is highly uh, demanded and wanted by your audience but it's not a piece of cake for your guests to talk about that it's secrets uh, rumors everything like that so that's why while researching some information about the guest uh, divided into white periods which you expect him to talk but you definitely know that it's not nothing special there great periods which you should skip something which not um, which is not necessary for people to discuss it's something ordinary that we've already read before that's something which is really here available over google or somewhere else and the black periods which are our target actually so if the person operas interviews mostly are, are built on the 
black periods or sometimes white periods for guests just to have a rest and not to be on the high tension and, and suspicion every minute of this interview. That's why be focused on the uh, white periods and black periods, switch them, but mostly your target, target is black periods, uh, the periods which uh, were some events, maybe situations with, which were secrets before your show, but now you are in the right spot, in the right place, in the right moment, and you are the person, like Max Oprah, who will definitely grab all of that ideas, emotions, and details from your guests, I believe so. The last category for us to discuss, but not even the subject of discussion, but still, we have some category like outcasts, uh, people who mm, are highly judged by the society, sometimes it happens, or who are highly, you know, like very close to us. We, the, the main approach to that people will be at least not to judge them. You need to be a psychologist while talking with such people with a huge amount of problems or who are um, the victims of some situation. So uh, the only thing, you, you shouldn't judge them. If your questions are judging questions, no, that's not a good idea. This person will never be open to you. So be focused on the main goal of the interview. Think in advance, what is the category of your speaker and how to make a candid uh, conversation, a frank speaking with them and do your best in order to uh, rock these talk shows. See you.